100% unacceptable. Thank you. Uh, thanks very much, Chair and uh, Commissioner. I rise to speak in favour of uh, Mrs Copper's uh, resolution. Um, like many others, I, I've, I've witnessed the, the twists and turns in the quest for Palestinian statehood in the United Nations. And like many others, I, I wish them well and uh, hope for a fair and just solution. In speaking today on the Copper Report, it is, for me, not a question of being anti-Israel or pro-Palestine. No, it's, it's more one of championing justice and fair play. We must hope that peace soon comes to this troubled region. I, I spent a few days in the Gaza Strip this summer, seeing for myself the abject poverty in which Gazans uh, have to live. I listened to the pleas of mothers and fathers unable to feed or educate their children properly, of doctors and workers who have to work with the most basic of materials. I listened to teachers and their students, refugees and NGOs, and I heard countless stories of stalled business deals, of jobs lost through a lack of raw materials, of social breakdown and the strangulation of trade by the Israeli blockade. And it became very, very clear to me that, that in Gaza and in the West Bank, economic recovery and social recovery go hand in hand. We have some misgivings in our group around the uh, nature of the agreement, the uh, uh, dislocation of uh, development in social and in environmental protection, and some of the practical difficulties around identifying the source of products. But the Copper Report will not solve all the problems between Israel and Palestine, but it is an important marker along the way. As the rapporteur states, Opening the EU market to Palestinian products is only the first stage in the construction of a Palestinian state. So I, I urge you to, to join us and uh, vote tomorrow uh, when it comes to Parliament. Thank you.